I'm going to show you how to add a trend line to a chart in Excel. Now there are a number of different reasons to add a trend line, obviously because it's going to show you the trend of the data you're plotting, but also in some cases it can help to try and forecast what the data is going to look like in the future. So I'm going to start by creating a line chart and what I have here is a very simple example of monthly sales. I have 12 months on the left and I have unit sales for those 12 months. Now to create the chart I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to click chart. I'm going to create a line chart. You can choose a number of different types of charts. Um, XY scatter plots work very well for this also but I'm going to stick with a regular line chart and I'm going to go with the default type the line with markers displayed at each data value so I'm going to click next now I'm not going to explain every step in the chart wizard because I've already done that in a separate tutorial for the chart wizard but the one thing I do want to make sure is that on the series tab my data is the correct data so my category x-axis I want to make sure that's right sheet A1 to A14 and that's incorrect so A3 to A14 and also make sure that my values are correct which they're not so I'm going to change that to B3 to B14 and I'm going to give it a name I'm going to name this monthly sales next now on the chart options I'm going to take the legend off because I already have a title monthly sales I'm going to keep my title at monthly sales and click finish so now I have the basic chart that I want to create and I'm just going to move it down here a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and make all of the text smaller so right click format chart area then I'm going to go to the font tab and I'm going to select size 8 font so there it makes my chart a little bit easier to read and much easier to understand over time series so the next thing I'm going to do is to add the trend line now it's very very easy to add a trend line all you have to do is simply right click the plotted data and click add trend line otherwise just make sure the chart is highlighted anywhere and go up to where it says chart at the top of the window and select add trend line the add trend line window is going to pop up and it's going to give you a selection of six different types of trend lines to choose you have linear logarithmic polynomial power exponential and moving average. Now most people just use the simple linear trend line. It's a straight line that's going to plot through your data and basically give you an average. Um, and depending on the type of data you're plotting you may choose to use one of these other types of trend lines. It really depends what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and briefly mention the moving average though also. The moving average takes an average of a certain number of periods and then plots the trend line based on that average and when you select moving average the period window here highlights and you can select the number of periods you want to be averaged so if I select five periods it's going to average the data from five periods or five data points and create the trend line based on that for every five periods so it can help you to so to speak smooth out the trend line if you're using a large number of data points especially on a scatter plot now here where it says based on series in the bottom I've got one series monthly sales and that's because I've only plotted one data set if I plotted say the monthly sales for 2006 7 and 8 I would have three series here and I could create a trend line for each series and just click each one but I only have one so I'm gonna go ahead and do the linear regression then I'm going to go to the options tab. Now here you have a number of different choices. On the trend line name, you can leave it at automatic. 
and what it's going to do is name linear monthly sales the name of my line. Now the name here appears in the chart legend. So if you have a chart legend, whatever name appears here is going to appear in the legend for your trend line. If you click custom, you can create your own name for the trend line. So trend line monthly sales. And that's how you can custom name it. Now underneath that you have a forecast box and the forecast box allows you to choose how many periods in the future or how many periods in the past you want to so to speak forecast the data. And all you have to do is you know select however many periods you want to forecast say in the future and it's going to extend your trend line that many periods. So I want to forecast 12 months in the future and what it's going to do is it's just going to extend my linear trend line 12 months into the future. That's all. Now down here you can set the intercept. You can display the equation of the trend line on the chart and you can also display the R squared value on the chart. Now displaying the equation of the trend line it just gives you the simple mathematical equation of the trend line on the chart. The R squared is going to give you how well that trend line fits to the data points on the chart. So in most cases you're not going to need this, but I'm going to go ahead and display the equation just so you can see. So we have the equation displayed going forward 12 months in the future and a linear regression. Click OK and you'll see this black line pops up. The black line goes from the very first period all the way to 12 periods past last data point. You'll also notice that there is an equation for the line right here in the upper right hand corner. And that's the trend line equation. So if I made this so that it did not forecast in the future, the line would simply stop right here. Now it's important to note that I can add a number of different trend lines to the same data. So I'm going to go ahead and add another trend line. I'm going to go to chart, add trend line, and I'm just going to choose a random one, so logarithmic. I don't really care what it looks like. The point is to illustrate what's going to happen. And I'm going to leave all of this the same. Click OK. And now another black line for the second trend line pops up. But it only goes for the same periods that my original data does, so January to December. Now, if I want to edit the trend line, so it's kind of hard to differentiate the two right around here, and I want to make this one stand out more, just right click any of the trend lines and go to Format Trend Line. Here, I'm going to be able to change the color. So I'll make it red so it sticks out. And also the thickness of the line and the style. So if I want to make this one dashed, and then you can change the, t the type of the trend line. So if I want to make it linear again, I can do that. And you can change the options here. I'm going to leave those the same for now and click OK. And there I have the trend line. It's dotted and it's red. Or it's dashed in red. So that's how you can make trend lines. And you can add more than one and to edit them. Now the one last thing is how to get rid of them. So I want to go ahead and get rid of this linear trend line. All you do is right click it and then select clear. And then it'll go away and resize your chart to how it was before. Now you'll notice the only other one I have is this logarithmic right here. So simply right click and clear. And now you've gotten rid of the trend lines. So that's how you can add a trend line, edit a trend line, and change it to however you want in Excel.